There's a lot of good memories I have from ROTC. Probably the one that sticks out most in my mind um, are the many times that I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and it was cold and rainy and it's a typical Seattle day. And I had to bike from my apartment over in Brooklyn all the way down to the UW Stadium to do physical training, just asking myself, why am I doing this? Sound, attention. We push for the idea of having ROTC as a family, more so than a military detachment on campus. And part of the way we do that is we start creating a culture around our cadets, um, especially in the Air Force side. I'm sure the other branches do it as well, where we want everyone to know that we're here to support you and not only support you through your college career, but also give you the guidance to become a Air Force officer in the United States military right after graduation. Uh, it definitely is different from joining the military right out of high school because you're not thrown into a situation where drill sergeants are screaming at you and, and people are, are messing up your bed and telling you to make it really quickly or, or making you, you know, do all sorts of uncomfortable things like be out in the rain, sleep out in the woods. You're definitely a student first if you're an ROTC. Military training comes second. And uh, it's basically a leadership program for the military. So it's a chance for the military to combine training a, an officer, a future officer in the United States Army with your civilian education. So like when I first started my freshman year, I was in the greatest cadet because I joined ROTC on the assumption that it was just a bunch of lazy college students who just kind of ran around and uh, you know, just played with fake rifles. Uh, when I first started, um, especially my first PT session, which is our physical training sessions, um, I really knew that uh, I definitely took this whole program way too lightly. Now I'm on to my junior year, like my sophomore year and junior year was just, so far has just been really great. This year has been definitely been a lot more work because when I first started um, this year, I was thrown immediately into leadership rotations because that's what juniors do. They fill the squad leader, platoon sergeant, first sergeant, platoon leader, like pretty much all the leadership rotations you can think of in the Army, like anyone who's in charge of anybody, that's them. Now I'm having to keep in charge of 30 plus people. Um, someone doesn't show up, I have to like call them, like, hey, why weren't you here? Um, people are missing gear, I have to make sure I get them the gear. Uh, it's like, basically I'm taking care of a bunch of people. So the whole ROTC program is run by the senior class at ROTC with oversight from the college faculty. Because by the time you get to a senior, you've been in the program for a couple years, you kind of know what to expect, and it's finally your chance to lead your fellow peers. So. so we ask a lot of the cadets here. We have you wake up early in the morning. We have you work out all the time. But at the end of the day, um, with the help of our cadre, who are basically our uh, active duty guidance counselors and teachers, they help us decide and try and learn how to become the best version of Air Force officers we can be.